Hi you guys, it's just uh, Michael here. Uh, Mayor Chips Reef, just um, showing you something I don't see every day, which is my sand sifting starfish. Normally he's underneath the sand, sorting it out, cleaning it out, whatever. And on the odd occasion, he shows himself and he just sort of um, goes around, has a look around, goes, yeah, lovely, back under the sand and does his thing. So I just wanted to show you guys, he's quite quick in uh, moving around. He just sort of scatters around everywhere, mad, mad looking thing. And then he'll get into a nice little comfortable spot. And he'll just bury himself, disappear. But that's the sand sifting starfish. I've had him for a few weeks now. I've got another starfish somewhere in, in here somewhere. But it's a different type of starfish. But that's the uh, sand sifting. Does a job. Here's Mr Gobi. He does his job. Which is um, clean all the sand. The top of it. Which is great. Got a bit of an algae thing at the minute, no big deal. I've got enough snails in here to probably supply an aquarium, so they're all happy. So, just a quick little look at me um, torch corals that I've got knocking around here. Some of the fish. So, the tank itself is six foot long, 30 inches wide, 27 inches tall. So it's quite a nice sized tank. I've been in the reefing hobby for I guess a couple of years. Started off with a second hand tank. Um, had a lot of losses through those um, sort of couple of years. Um, but you learn, you learn as you go, don't you? It's all part of the hobby and it's an expensive hobby. So if you're going to take this hobby up, make sure you've got some deep pockets. Start off with a second hand one, I would, and see if you actually like it or not. And if you do like it, go big. No point having something little. So yeah, I'm taking everything slowly at this uh, moment in time. With corals and fish. Because everything's got to be done nice and slow so that bacteria can grow. But as you can see, I've got a lot of room for a ton, a ton of corals, loads of corals. So everything's going pretty sweet. Everything's all bubbly, looking great. Absolutely no trouble at all. I haven't done a water change yet. And I think I've had this set up six months. I'm using the Triton method. So I've got to send off an ICP test uh, pretty soon. I haven't sent one off yet. I should have done a few months back. But it's what happens, you know, life's too fast. So yeah, everything's looking pretty cool. A lot of these corals I took out my old second hand tank that I had. But um, yeah, not many new corals. That's a new one, it's called, um, I think it's called Devil's Hand. So I like my soft corals and I also like my LPS corals. So that's the Devil's Hand, that's a cabbage coral. That is huge, that, that cabbage coral. We've got in there, we've got all the, uh, all the there, all the mushrooms. We've got all of these here. That started off as one. And now I've got hundreds of the, of the things. So I've got a couple of leather corals as well. One's, a, one's one with a green base to it, with long, long tentacles. And one's got short tentacles. And it's got green pollocks. So it's something a bit different. So as you can see, some more of them. Firework cloves, I think they're called. They're there. I'm planting them. And I've got some down there, I've got some there, and what I'm planning on doing is for them to take the tank over. They're not invasive, they won't go around stinging everything, but they will take over, but not in an invasive way where they'll, they'll want to kill everything. 
they just they'll, they'll end up losing and melting away so it's no big deal but yeah everything's going all right to be fair just wanted to give you a quick update show you the starfish uh, because it's something you don't see all the time because as I say he's always hidden got my salt water mollies they're doing their thing they were the fish that I added in the beginning when I was cycling the aquarium and they done a fantastic job the cycling didn't last very long at all and they've had hundreds and hundreds of babies which is live food for the rassies and the other fish and they like a little bit of algae so they peck at the back of the wall they peck at the rocks real nice little fish to have to be fair yeah they're getting on there yeah they're getting on to probably six months this has only been set up about six months this tank just taking it nice and slow there's no point rushing something like this so yeah well I'll keep you all updated. Thanks for watching anyway. See ya. Bye.